Hey guys, and welcome back to Pop Tales. This is Season 2's obligatory Star Wars episode. Well, we do have an obligatory Star Wars episode now. We do. Yeah. That's back to back seasons with Star Wars episodes in it. There is one substance in Star Wars that is known for healing. It's in every single video game. It's in every movie, almost. Most movies. <laughs> Today, we're making Bacta. Yay! <laughs> we actually don't know what Bacta tastes like because it's supposed to be like medical stuff that you soak in. Luke soaks it in, in, in Empire Strikes Back and Finn is in like a suit of it in The Last Jedi. Other than that, it's really mainly from the games and it turns out to be this light blue sort of beverage that you pick up off the ground and it heals you for some strange reason. Because sci-fi. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these ingredients and we're gonna turn this into something delicious. Let's start with, this is the bottom half of a Boston shaker and I am going to throw Roughly 50 grams of blueberries in there. I'm not gonna measure it. I'm gonna go like a chunky handful. Chunky. You're going to take your jigger. Take your jigger. I'm gonna go two ounces of alizé. Dos. Because we're a multicultural channel. It's just me, the Russians, and a bunch of Irish people. We need one ounce of vodka because alcohol is supposed to cure everything so I'm gonna make this super boozy. This is just white rum. We're using Bacardi. It's the superior white rum apparently according to the bottle. Pretty sure it's Spanish. Cuba. Born in Cuba. This is gonna go half a shot and I'm only going half a shot of rum because rum is one of those intense flavors Unlike vodka, which is quite high in alcohol, but really just sort of blends into whatever you're mixing it with. And you just want that sort of extra boozy sort of after taste to it. So you should have this really light blue substance with blueberries in it. And you're going to take one of these. Yeah. And then you're going to take it and you're going to muddle blueberries, which is just a really fancy way of saying beat with a stick. Don't be afraid. Be petrified. So, spoiler alert, I've not actually made this drink before. I just think it's gonna taste good. You're gonna take this purpley sort of bluey liquid, pour it through your straw. <coughs> Rinse off the other half of your Boston shaker. This, the top half of the Boston shaker is, as usual, about half filled with ice. I poured all of my liquid in there. Once you clean it, I'm just going to pop the top on. Bang, edit that. And then you're just going to shake it for 15 to 20 seconds. Use the force to get the lid off. Pour it into your nice cold glass over some ice. If you do get this diluted sort of color, throw in another shot of alizé magic spoon just to put that purple sort of bluey tinge back in there. If it doesn't fill your glass, which it shouldn't, because it'll be very boozy, just top it up with lemonade. That is perfect looking if I do say so myself. If you are looking to spice it up a little bit, you can throw a few blueberries on top, maybe a few flowers, but that is the perfect sort of else looking beverage right there so let's give it a whirl that is very boozy kind of sweet on the back it's a lot of blueberry look at that very fruity i would say add i'm gonna go a quarter of an ounce of lemon juice any citrus will do lemon is what i have on hand currently in front of me Give it a quick stir. It's delicious. It's boozy, it's fruity, it's citrusy, and I definitely feel healthier after drinking it. 
I'm gonna get the camera guy. Camera guy! Drink that! Be right up your right up your alley. Ooh. I said get off my set. Stop hogging the camera. So that's it guys. That is Bacta. That is uh Star Wars Health Potion. As always guys, it's been real. Keep it real. Stay sexy. Drink safe. May the force be with you.